coming. We also look forward to seeing you over at the Panasonic booth, of course. And at the booth every day, we're going to have a number of special guests on our Ideas for Life stage. So I hope you'll be able to see them. It actually starts tomorrow morning about 11.30 uh, with a visit from an uh, inter intergalactic superstar from Star Wars. Followed on uh, Friday morning by three fabulous filmmakers, Oliver Stone, Baz Luhrmann, and Michael Mann. So please be sure to join us for those and many, many others. Now this afternoon we have a very full menu for you, but before starting, I'd like to introduce some very special guests who are here with us today. And if I may, first, Maria Pastera, who is the CEO of Expand. Welcome, Maria. Thank you for coming. Mr. Jim Taylor, who is the founder of the International 3D Society. Jim, thank you very much for your great work. Mr. Stephen Roberts, Senior Vice President, DirecTV, our partner in 3D TV. Stephen, thank you. Mr. Masami Murata, President of Sanyo North America Corporation. Murata San, lovely to see you. Namoro Yoshida, who is Executive Officer of Panasonic ABC Networks Company. Yoshida San, delighted to have you. Thank you all very much for coming. And today we will not have a formal Q&A session in this big group, but all of our speakers will be up front here after the event. You're welcome to come up and ask your questions then, so please feel free to do so. And now, please join me in welcoming our first speaker, Panasonic Corporation of North America's CEO and Chairman, Joe Taylor. So, thank you, Peter. Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you for joining. And I'm just wondering, this is your 10th press conference of the day? <laughs> Anybody still awake? <laughs> Anyhow, uh, yeah, see, somebody is. I'll take a few minutes to briefly cover some strategic initiatives and the big picture on how Panasonic is evolving and extending the definition of consumer electronics. Shiro Kitajima, who's responsible for our consumer electronics business, will report on business trends and news and then Jim Sandusky, our consumer company sales head, will then introduce our newest technologies and latest products. First among our strategic initiatives is Panasonic's continuing leadership in 3D. Panasonic is focused on providing an entire range of 3D solutions from the CES 2010 Viera 3D Best in Show in your home to professional video used to capture 3D in the field. This is what we call our end-to-end -end 3D approach. And you'll see us extend this with new additions to our product lines that Cheryl and Jim will explain shortly. In fact, we're even applying our 3D to our HD visual communication systems to do 3D video conferencing. And this demo will be the first of its kind at this show, so please don't miss it. We also plan to help stimulate the entertainment industry's creation of 3D content oh, by opening a 3D innovation center within the Panasonic Hollywood Laboratories next week. Strategically located in the heart of the entertainment industry, the center will offer 3D education for studio and industry professionals, including 3D shooting and editing techniques, as well as Blu-ray 3D authoring. Also, with 3D content in mind, Panasonic is pleased that the International 3D <laughs> Society today announced the creation of an Asian committee within the society. The committee will focus on encouraging the creation of more 3D content in Japan, Korea, and China, where there's already strong interest in this business. We're confident that this will bring new streams of affordable, high-quality content into the marketplace. In addition, to content, there's also the matter of standards. Panasonic and a number of other organizations within the industry are actively working together to create a standard for compatible active shutter 3D eyewear. So it's not a matter of if, but rather when this will happen. Uh, and when it does, this will be transformative because eyewear interoperability, like content, will definitely drive growth. Equally strategic for Panasonic this year is web-connected TV. Panasonic has been in the forefront in tapping the power of the internet to deliver the best user experience by designing applications specifically for your TV. 
This year, we will be able to seamlessly offer the customer a greatly expanded range of entertainment, information, and yes, even fitness and wellness applications. Jim and Shiro will tell you more about this as well. Now I'd like to take a few moments to tell you how Panasonic Worldwide is evolving. I'll start with the basics. Panasonic Corporation Worldwide is a 92-year-old diversified company. Roughly 50% of our revenue, our earnings, come from consumer electronics, like what you'll see at the show, as well as uh, home appliances. The other 50% comes from our industrial business, our B2B business, and our solution sales. Understanding the need to ensure a sustainable future, last year Panasonic made a key strategic change in direction. We reaffirmed our commitment to eco-ideas and also announced plans to become a leader in green business innovation, a goal that required us to greatly strengthen our green technology operations. <coughs> so it's no coincidence that Panasonic set its sights on a 100% acquisition of Samuel Electric, a recognized consumer brand, which is also a respected leader in solar power and other energy sources, like lithium-ion batteries. Now, linked together, the consolidated power of the two of us will enable us to meet growing needs for lithium-ion energy sources for the home, for electric vehicles, and more. As a footnote, I can report that around the world, Panasonic is quickly integrating Sanyo operations, and the U.S. is no exception. We have already started to consolidate facilities, beginning on the West Coast, like this office in Ote Mesa, near the San Diego border. Having our per people work side by side is not only reducing costs, but it's also improving efficiency and synergies. Last year, Panasonic also invested $30 million in Tesla Motors, building on a multi-year collaboration to accelerate the expansion of the electric vehicle market. Panasonic is also Tesla's preferred lithium-ion battery cell supplier, and this is the cell we provide. Then Tesla takes this and builds it into a battery pack using their proprietary technology. It's hard to imagine that 6,800 of these little guys can power Tesla's Roadster sports car for up to 245 miles per charge. Thank you. We can't say enough good things about Tesla, and Kurt Kelty, their battery technology head, will be speaking at our eco stage at the booth tomorrow afternoon. So please join, please join us to hear him. In a sign of things to come, our enterprise solutions company recently kicked off a major green project involving Infineon Raceway in Sonoma, California. To support their sustainability initiatives, Panasonic partnered with Infineon to create a major solar electric power generating installation. With a capacity of more than 350 kilowatts, it can power the new LED scoreboard we will be supplying and more. All told, Panasonic will install nearly 1,700 Sanyo-made solar panels at the raceway alone, enabling it to generate more than 40% of its overall energy needs. And to emphasize our own corporate and management commitment to sustainability and environmentally advanced practices in the United States, we are today announcing additional new goals for the next three years, including doubling the sale of our leading energy efficient consumer electronics, nearly halving again our CO2 emissions at our North American headquarters, and expanding our environmental education and community outreach programs. This will include a new scholarship program with Earth University in Costa Rica. The details of the Eco Declaration are in your press kit. Beyond green business, another important new direction for us is our ability to tap into the wide range of Panasonic's expertise to meet the needs of some of America's largest enterprises. At AEG's Los Angeles-based entertainment hub, LA Live, the assignment for Panasonic was to enhance the fan experience while providing world-class security systems. 
Here's what AEG's Chief Operating Officer, Sherman Miraschemi, had to say about the project that extended from video boards to consumer dis displays to a fully equipped control room in the Staples Center. We could not be happier with the fan experience and the reaction to all the equipment that they now get to enjoy, whether it's the LEDs, the point of sales, or the panels that are throughout the entire campus. And they are also kept safe with all the Panasonic security equipment that is within this campus as well. As Chief Operating Officer of AG Global Partnerships, I have the privilege to work with a lot of companies in this business. I can truly say that Panasonic is at the very top of those companies, and the people who work at Panasonic could not be better partners, not only here within this campus, but with respect to all of our AEG assets. Thank you, Sherp. And in a completely different space, we're pushing the boundaries of consumer electronics by partnering with Chrysler on the development of the revolutionary Uconnect Touch in-car infotainment system. In it, we have enhanced driver connectivity and ease of use while ensuring energy savings, comfort, and savings. You owe it to yourselves to see the Uconnect demo at our booth. I also understand that Chrysler's Mike Wong, head of product development and infotainment, in the, is in the audience today. Mike, I want to thank you, and we really appreciate the collaboration. Thanks. I think what all this should tell you is that Panasonic is strategically renewing its business, helping achieve a sustainable future through eco ideas, expanding our green businesses, and working more closely with our partners than we ever have before. I hope this has given you some new insights into who we are as a company, how we are emerging, and how we are continuing to use all of our technological resources to lead in consumer-focused electronics. And now, here's the president of the Panasonic Consumer Electronics Company, Shiro Kitajima. Shiro? Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much for coming in here, and uh, I wish you a uh, very happy new year. And for my, to my Spanish-speaking people, friends, Feliz Año Nuevo, gracias por haber venido. Well, now, I'll tell you more about our 3D and IPTV news in just a minute. But first of all, I'd like to give you a quick peek at Panasonic's holiday sales. Despite a fairly tough market, overall, this was a good holiday season for us. In fact, for December, sales ran 30% ahead of last year. And the VRTV, in particular, was 45% ahead. I want to acknowledge here that Vera's TV success story began right here in Las Vegas where the Best of Show Award it won at the CD Show 2010. For a long time, Panasonic has been emphasizing large screen TVs with 3D and IPTV features, but this is the year the market came to us. We experienced huge demand for 54-inch, 58-inch, and 65-inch full-feature 3D and the Viera cast set. In fact, due to unprecedented demand for the 65-inch BT25 Viera model, some channel partners sold out by the middle of December. For several years now, consumers have understood Viera's TV value proposition. Viera offers neoplasma technology, including fast switching phosphors and mass moving picture resolution, and the widest beauty angle and the overall top performance, all at a great price point. But now, the 3D and web connected features, Viera in larger size, screen sizes, is even more compelling. Panasonic expects that 3D will gather momentum this year as more great content becomes available and will grow rapidly over the next three years. As you can see, we project that by 2014, TV with 3D capability will account for 32% of total TV sales worldwide. 
Last year, continuing our end-to-end -end 3D approach, Panasonic was the first major brand to launch a consumer 3D camcorder. But, and this year, we'll continue to expand the line by adding five new 3D models. Panasonic wants to uh, make 3D content generation affordable and easy for the average customer. Here is someone who has already start, started introducing 3D to America's next generation of filmmakers. Mr. David Romer, CEO of Campus Movie Fest. David, thank you for coming. You guys want to do me a favor? When uh, they asked me for this camcorder back, can you say they never gave it to me? <laughs> yeah, that's secret. Hmm. Uh, we started Campus Movie Fest 10 years ago when we were students. Didn't know what we were doing, but we thought that everyone had a story that was just waiting to be told. So we gave all the students, 500,000 of them so far, laptops, camcorders, training, everything they need to make their own short movies. We get to go to about 100 different colleges and universities doing this. Thousands of students at each school that line up to get their gear. I think it's pretty unforgettable for them to get to see their movies up on the big screen at the time of their lives, especially for our winners who don't forget it any quicker. We've seen a lot of different camcorders along the way over these 10 years. Of 